Hey guys, welcome back to All of the Law. This is a quick radiology rats, and today I'm gonna talk about what are the what you call renal calculi, nephrolithiasis, nephrolithiasis. Just I'm gonna talk about the two types of. Remember, we have two types of um, what you call calculi on a radiology. It's a radio lucent or a radio opaque. So remember, 90% of the renal stones or kidney stones are radio opaque. Radio opaque. So we're gonna have a two types. One is radio lucent, let me write RL, and radio opaque. Okay. So we know that 90% of the patients with the renal uh, stone have what you call like radio opaque stones. Okay. What are the radio lucent stones we have two types remember as uric acid uric, uric acid stones and then we have xanthine stones okay xanthine stone these are the two important what you call radio lucent stones regarding the radio, radio opaque calculi we have what you call there are many and very common that's a calcium oxalate okay and phosphate right and phosphate then we have struite struite stones then we have cysteine cysteine stones then the matrix stones okay matrix stones remember a renal or a erotic stone overlies the spine on a lateral view while a gall stone a uh, stone that is found in the gall bladder right does not overlie the spine on what you call lateral view these are really very important what I'm, let me repeat once again that the renal or calc or ureteric stones overlie the spine on lateral view while the gall stones does not overlie the spine on lateral view remember okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care